Okay, so right from the very get-go on this image, I really wanted to focus on some of these big, medium, and small shapes like I've been talking about a lot. Uh, you can see that kind of chest shape going on there that's actually the top right now, and then I put in the head. That That's kind of a smaller shape versus this big leg shape that I got going on. I wanted to break it up, whereas normally kind of that chest belly area kind of represents kind of that midpoint line. I wanted that to be a much smaller shape and have these big parachute pants for want of a better word there to be that big shape I'm going in on the face now uh, adding a lot of details there throwing in some different things here or there you can see the face as well broken that into you know kind of a small shape from the forehead to the eyes and then a really big shape from the eyes to the nose edge of the nose and then kind of that medium shape for the for the mouth and things like that so i'm trying to really keep the variety going on this one add some stuff uh this guy kind of inspired by um wind and thunder gods you know chinese god type of thing had some fun with those years ago doing some different things and just liked this shape and wanted to play around with that a bit more so those are kind of fun because you can do all these little details all these different things kind of like the the aztec mayan guy i drew up last week uh, going in here like like i really like that really big massive arm you know he has this huge bicep tricep area and elbow and then it comes to this tiny little hand you know i just dig stuff like that and how far can you push those types of things these big pants so he's got kind of this big weight kind of coming down uh the entire time and that was a lot of fun to do the face comes together a lot earlier than everything else normally because that's where your eyes going to rest a lot more um going in on the beads here around his neck those aren't any specific symbols i just wanted to have something to make it look just a bit more ancient a bit more thoughtful than just like these beads but there there's a purpose behind them there's markings on them so i just kind of decorated something on there wanted the hair to kind of be dark you'll see that kind of the last thing i do is color in the pants i wanted to have some variety in some of the lights versus darks going on here i always have the dark outlines and things like that but i wanted to have you know some dark hair maybe the pants to kind of help that arm stand out a bit more even and to have the face stand out a bit more now, a lot of detail going in on the the club bat thing that he's wielding and that was a lot of fun to do uh, I wanted just this big, very powerful, mean-looking weapon, you know. So just have this four-sided bat with, you know, spikes going up and down. And it was just a fun shape to draw and fun to play around with. Getting some detail there on the pants. Um, trying to have that just have some volume and some shape to it. You know, most of that bunching of cloth will be down there where the tie is. So that's where, you know, the fabric's just going to kind of fall down there and then bunch up kind of around there. So that's why the folds are all down at the bottom flitting back and forth on the drawing do the club a bit do the arm a bit do the pants a little bit more uh, just going in and letting the drawing kind of suggest itself to me as i go along uh, you can see i went on the belt and also added in some darkness there adding some more to the hair just to keep things so that you're looking in the places that i want you to look have the biggest contrast areas and things like that so i'll go through and add some little detail in on the the club there that'll kind of just fuzz over in your eyes and things and help you focus in on that face maybe a bit more going in with some of the folds there the pants and so kind of going down i had done the face first and the things happened and the feet kind of ended up last even though i'm flitting back and forth there are some things that just i generally work from top to bottom as well even on something where i am flitting all over the place i uh, wanted kind of a symbol going on in here did something kind of lightningy um, just for fun didn't have anything specific in mind again just wanted something that felt like it had carved in there kind of a medallion going on there i'm sure all the lines are nice and dark everything to outline the silhouette is looking good um, i squint around a lot just to try and make sure everything looks just the way you know as i squint is that basic shape is that are those negative shapes working are the lights versus darks working um, so i start going in here you can see i'm starting to color and i don't want it to mess with the belt which is really dark i don't want it to compete with that but i want it to be kind of this mid this neutral ground type of area so i go in there and finish that and that'll be it for him thanks for watching today's drawing be sure to like share and subscribe and leave a comment at the bottom if there's something specific you want to see drawn and maybe it'll make it into a future video